Now, almost 17 years ago, Kelly Lang wrote her hit song, I'm Not Going Anywhere, after being inspired by a friend who was a caretaker for a cancer patient. Shortly after composing the song, Kelly was diagnosed with breast cancer herself, and she needed care. And the song took on a whole new meaning for her in a deeply personal way. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And this week, Kelly has released an inspiring story in a wonderful new book. It's called, I'm Not Going Anywhere. Please welcome back to the show, her husband, T.G. Shepard, and the very courageous and wonderful Kelly Lang. Thank you. Great having you guys here. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited about the project. Uh, first of all, I wore a pink tie and shirt I, I just see. to uh, Thank identify you. with you for 17 years of being cancer free. Thank you. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I'm honored that Olivia Newton John wrote the foreword for the book, and she too is a cancer, we call ourselves thrivers instead mm. of just survivors. So, um, her encouragement in, in writing the book was really special for me as well. But thank you for allowing me to share it. What a great opportunity. I think it's an incredible story. You've told it in such a very honest way. Yes. Because sometimes when people read books and folks tell their story about a cancer journey, it's almost like, yeah, I had cancer, but, you know, I prayed and everything just turned out beautiful and it was easy and bang, it was, it was fine. It was really— It's not a, your story. No, though, was it? it wasn't. Uh, when we were cleaning out our garage through the pandemic, I ran across a lot of just scrap papers that I had written down because the doctors said this could be terminal— Mm -hmm. And you might want to do a video or write something for your children at that point. And they were really young at the time. Uh, and I just couldn't bring myself to really forward with that. I'd kept the notes for some reason. And my friend Kim Fannin suggested that I might want to now make it into a book to be of inspirational for somebody else maybe going through this. And I prayed to God when I was going through my, my situation that if He would just heal me, I would try my very, very best to be uh, a light for someone else because I really didn't have anybody to speak with being that I was 36 years old when I was diagnosed. And um, so I'm, I'm 17 years out now and praise God, he, he allowed me this opportunity to share my story bravely. Were there times, Kelly, that you wondered if you would ever go back on stage and sing again, that you would ever be able to be the Kelly Lang that uh, we knew as, yes. as a singer. Well, the, the book is really an interesting arc. It starts out with me being a young, innocent, ready to go conquer the world as an artist. Uh, star search things are in there. Um, and then it goes to, wow, you hit a brick wall. I had a choice. Hmm. I could crumble and I could allow this thing to be my death sentence. But you know what I chose? I chose to make it my life sentence. Mm. And I chose to make my life matter and do things bolder and more appreciatively. And um, it, it shows you how you can go from the worst day of your life to the best days of your life and not giving up. Do you also find that when people are diagnosed with cancer, someone like you can relate to them in a way that others can't. And you bring a comfort. It's, it's like that scripture in 2 Corinthians 1. You give comfort wherewith the comfort you have been comforted with. Oh, that's you've beautiful. You've got the power that you've had. You can now share it, but you couldn't have done it without having gone through it. Absolutely. I'm grateful for the experience. I don't want to go through it again, <laughs> but I, I feel like I have had more appreciation for the rest of my life. I'm grateful that it came at such a young age because now I've lived so many more years awakened, you know, to say thank you for the trees and the sky, things that I would have overlooked before. In the book, you talk about this guy sitting next to you, yes. T.G. Shepard. We know and love him as, as one of the great singer-songwriters from the past several decades. How did he play a role in this whole wonderful story about I'm not going anywhere? Well, we, I wrote the song before I was diagnosed, like you said, and we were just dating. We had been only together three years or so, and we weren't in a committed, like getting down to getting married anytime yeah. soon. He had gone through a really big financial crisis. Here I am, you know, with two little kids with breast cancer. Timing was really off. Not you know? ideal. Yeah. Not ideal. <laughs> yeah. And so nobody know, knows all the behind the scenes, but we decided to allow this to be known publicly because people can learn from that experience that, you know, everybody's got something, in other yeah. words. And um, I let myself, um, my guard down. I took my wig off, took all my makeup off, and I was getting out of the shower, and I started just moaning, crying, and looking in the mirror. I looked like a monster, had marks all over me and bald and green. 
And we never lived together before we got married, but he did have a key to my apartment. He was dropping something off, and he heard me screaming and crying in the, in the bathroom. My kids were at school. And he walked in, and he saw me look so badly. I never let him see me look like that. Yeah. And Governor, he pulled me down on his lap in my closet floor and wrapped me around in a white terry cloth robe and was rocking me like a baby. Mm. And he kissed my bald head and he said, Kelly, you're the most beautiful woman. And I said, you need to go. It's time for you to go. Here's your door out. And you know what he said? He said, I'm not going anywhere. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. You could make a song and a book out of something okay. like that. <laughs> I could. I cannot uh. tell you enough beautiful things about this man. And that's not the reason I would have married him, but it sure didn't hurt. I guess it did not. <laughs> it's a beautiful story and you tell it with such candor. Thank you. That's what makes it powerful. The song is so important for people to listen to. You know what I'm excited about about this book? It, this is one of the first times I've ever seen it. I haven't either. Tell us, because okay. this is cool. Yeah, okay, so now during the pandemic, we have to go to restaurants and look at our restaurant um, menus with telephones, right? Like yeah. with your cameras, the QR codes. We decided, my friend Missy Aquiri helped me decide to do this. We put QR codes in the end of every chapter so you can use your phone and scan them, and there's videos that correlate to each chapter. Like there's a, pig, a, a video of me on Star Search when I was 18, when I'm talking about Star Search in the, in the book. You know, I've never seen anything like this before in a book. It is the coolest idea Thank that I've you. ever seen. If people, I mean, there's lots of reason to get the book. The story is in itself, but the technology built into this so that you can then go into videos and extra material by simply taking a picture on your cell phone. What an amazing addition to this book. Thank you. I, it's very innovative, and I have to thank Missy for helping with that. But I want to, um, to let, I, I didn't have enough space in the pages to talk. <laughs> I talk a lot. So I wanted to share more of the story and to really take an intimate step into what it feels like to be diagnosed, hmm. where I was when it happened, how it really felt to go through chemo and radiation, and yet still smile and still see the things in life that are much brighter. And, know, and it's important. A lot of people don't realize that when your spouse or your partner is going through cancer, you also are going through cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You may yeah. not feel the pain they feel, but you see the emotional pain, and it really, really hurts. And the only thing that got us through that was a lot of prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we made it through, and hopefully she will be a light for anybody else who may be going through something like that now or in the future. A lot of people are dealing with what you've experienced. You're gonna be a great help to them. And I hope people will get the book, get the song, be encouraged and blessed by it. You can get a copy of Kelly's book, I'm Not Going Anywhere. You can get it now on Amazon. You can also get it at kellylang.net. And while you're there, be sure to find all the great music that Kelly's got. Now also, after the show, go to Huckabee.tv. We've got a digital exclusive performance of Quando, Quando, Quando by <laughs> Kelly Lang and T.G. Shepard.